Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Hayden Raven, and welcome to A Tale of Paper. Now, this is an indie game that was just released on Itch.io about 18, 24 hours ago, and I'm quite excited to get into this one, specifically because it takes me back, and it takes me back to an age of innocence and wonder. And by this, I mean a state of being of a child. This is quite interesting for a game to do this, especially for me, because there are so many adult and mature themes in video games, especially dark ones, and that's what I really look for in games. I look for dark, wonderful, mature themes, not because of their attractiveness, but because of their depth. And yet, I found depth in this one, on the appearance, on the surface of just this innocence. And that's what I love about it. So join me today as we play A Tale of Paper and figure out what our origami friend is all about. So let's just begin. Now this game has chapters, but I'm not entirely sure how long it is, so you're going to have to take it with me and we'll really play this together. And I'm really enjoying this ambient music in the background. Normally I, uh, I, I really like and look forward to music in games, but I am really enjoying this. Oh wow. Oh, this is cool. This is so fun. What are the controls even? Um, oh, he, he did a little yump. No, that's a hop. That's exactly what that is. So, being as small as I am, and yes, I'm going to have to go through that vent. Uh, can I do anything about this? How do I do you? Up you go. Oh, this is so cool. This is so wonderful. Um, can I push you, sir? Can I push you? How do I do this? How do I do you? Oh, hello. Um, okay, that was by accident. Um, I was actually clicking through my keyboard just to try to find the controls, and... All I can find is this jump and this, uh, this this movement mechanic, so we're going to see where this exactly takes us. Now, why do I have the feeling that we're going to catch on fire as soon as we go under that lamp? Is this the truth? Is this the truth? Dust lamps are quite hot. Ooh, TV. That's what we all gravitate towards, isn't it? I shouldn't minimalize. I shouldn't, I shouldn't marginalize, as I should say. Oh. This is so cool. This is just, oh wow. I really, I really enjoy a good character model every now and then. Always, always, always now and then. Always now and then. I'm being stupid. Um, I really, I know it's a hard thing to really get right, is the programming behind the character's uh, interactions with the outside world. So I think it's just wonderful how much time, and I'm gonna guess just because that's a key, we're gonna need that key. Um, I just really enjoy how much time that developers really spend in polishing their character models. That's something that I really do enjoy. Are you locked? It would appear so with that uh, brass lock. Hello. A uh, no. Okay then. Carrying onward and forward and such as that is that is such. And that is my phrase coined it. Nickel and dime for every time someone else says it. Otherwise I will be quite angry. Quite, quite, quite angry. And I have no understanding of the word quite. And I'm actually kind of just wandering around at this point, um, just trying to, to troubleshoot. That's what I'm doing. That's what my brain is doing in the background. It is troubleshooting the environment itself, and I can't get up there. Crap. Where am I supposed to go? What am I supposed to do? This is so... Oh. Now, I know this this game is totally free, and as always with most Ichio games, you have the uh, Hello, option to... Hello. Goodbye. As always, you have the option to support and put in a little bit of money if you'd like. Intruder. Yes, sir. Intruders must be destroyed. <laughs> Intruders must be destroyed. I'm sorry, Mr. Self destruct Roomba. initiated. Um, sorry. Self destruct initiated. No, sir. Self destruct cannot be countermanded. <laughs> Self destruct cannot be countermanded. I Four never words. thought in Four my words. <laughs> Intruder. Okay, Intruders get out. must be destroyed. Get out of my ear. Intruders boy. must be destroyed. There we go. I never thought in my life that I would initiated. That I would be threatened by a little cannot be countermanded. Self-destruct cannot say, be countermanded. Device. Um, Forwards. F? Forwards. F? Oh, Intruder. okay. So that's the inventory. Button. Intruders must be destroyed. Sir, you are directly Intruders must in my be destroyed. Ear. No thanks. Self-destruct initiated. Good for you. Self-destruct initiated. No thanks. Self-destruct cannot be countermanded. Good for you. So this this is now I, I have a feeling, unfortunately, that this is going to be quite short. Just because Intruders must be destroyed. Just because of the Intruders must be destroyed. Layout of it. Self-destruct initiated. Feel of it. Uh, get out. Self-destruct initiated. I need to talk. 
I have a feeling this is going to be a very short game just because of the way that things are going. And unfortunately, as most of these games, especially from Ichio, go, uh, they are very short just because... Those are eyeballs. Those are some Luda. Okay, then. You're the monster under the bed. Hello, friend. Clearly, I am your friend. Okay, then. You see, that's what I do when I see eyes and grates. I go straight towards them. Okay, so I can't I can't go back to the initial room. However, we can go back upstairs, and that'll probably lead us to the initial room. The reason I believe that most games on Ichio are free, and it's kind of common knowledge just because people really want to showcase what they've created, and that's a really good and positive platform for gamers and developers to get noticed on. So I encourage anyone, even an, an, an observer, a viewer, to just go out there and check out what you can find, and perhaps you'll find something that's wonderful to you if you like... Um, if you really just like the narratives more than the these kinds of games, they've got plenty of different style games for everybody, and I guarantee you, you'll find something wonderful. Now, what am I supposed to do here? Hello? What? Um. Oh, this is this is. Oh wow. Okay, you, you see, that's a wonderful mechanic just because. Oh wow, that's so cool. This is this is this is wonderful. This is wonderful. Ah, so this is this is the grate that we initially saw in the first room, which is right here. And we're back. Okay. This is cool. I just now realized that's a cane and there's spider webs on it. This makes me and thinking about the environment itself, everything's packed up in boxes, so perhaps the creator died and is trying to be removed. So that that offers a lot of insinuations as to what our friend here is exactly but at the same time it's so cool it's just so cool mr froggy friend okay now we change back how do i grab you sir ma'am there we go so we finally gotten the key to this stupid door over here i wonder if there's anything on top of the fridge perhaps an easter egg perhaps put chance an easter egg e ah whoa yes um, there, there appears to be something up there, but I can't quite reach it. Uh, we'll have to, we'll have to check that out later, unfortunately. Hello, friend. Okay. Change back. There we go. Oh, how wonderful. I, I really like it when games just make you immersed in, in their, in their world. It's, it's really a unique experience, and it really takes you away from everything else, which is so cool, and I just fell down, because I'm not paying attention. I'm, I'm focused on you guys, and how important you guys are, with this interesting dialogue as the tone just switches up on me. It switches up. It switches up. You see, this is the darker, mature themes I was talking about in the beginning of the video, that I was explicitly saying how innocent this seemed on the surface, and now it's tripping me out with these false... falsivities. That's exactly what I mean by that word, and which it means. Now, there's no shadow mechanic like in most games, so I am using every muscle in my brain to try and concentrate and prevent falls like that. Fortunately, you don't have to see that by the magic of editing. Ba bam So back where I started, um, there actually is a shadow mechanic. I'm just blind as usual and unable to process the information readily available to me. And I also just noticed something else, and that is down in the bottom left corner, you can see what shapes we can take as of yet. And so that bird, I do believe, will be very helpful, especially in these kinds! Oh, now that was cheap. Especially in these kinds of scenarios where we won't even have to go up the stairs We'll have to just simply fly up the center, just as I should be able to, and wished I was be able to, because I am hopping quite verily for quite some time. Don't you dare, don't you dare fall. Oh, this is very tedious. Ah, okay, I'm gonna be smart about this one, and I'm gonna walk. Oh, hello? <laughs> I didn't realize there were physics in this game, this is so cool. No, <laughs> I about fell off the edge of the earth. Oop. Bah, down you go. Okay. Okay, so very tediously. I'm watching the shadow just because um, <laughs> that's where my feet are actually going. Ah, I see what that was doing. That was introducing the actual physics of this game. And by doing so, it was warning me about this. Okay, this was a stupid choice. I should have stayed straight. I should have stayed at the straightaway. But I had to take the fork in the road. I had to take the road less traveled. 
references. References, references to literature. You know literature. You love literature. I love literature. Come on, come on. I'm so high up. I'm so high up. Okay. Wonderful, everyone. We finally reached somewhat of a top. Okay, okay. I don't I don't like this one. I'm gonna fail at this one. I am going to fail at this one, and I'm gonna have to redo and do some magic. Okay. Be a smart. Okay. There we go, with the yumping. I hate the yumping. I hate the yumping. Hello? There's actually something over there. And as much as I'm curious, I don't want to risk that fall, because I am not going to be able to come back from that. Here we go, everyone. Who? No thank you. No thank you. No thank you. So it's a broken Roomba, it would appear. Ooh. 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 On the lip. On the lip. On the edge of the world. That's where we are located. That's where we have gone. Hopefully, y'all don't have to see much of this. And I'm going to actually get where the plot of the story remains. And this has become very dark. I wonder, I really wonder whose house this is. Because if it's the strange old man type of character that I believe it is. No, don't you? Mm -mm, that's a no-no. Um, if, if it is the character who I believe it is, and it is very dark, I cannot see one lick. One lick? Oh, that's a physics, that's a physics board. I don't trust that. As soon as I jump... Okay. Carry forward. If it is the type of old man character creator, inventor, spiritualist that I believe that we see in movies all the time, especially 1980 movies, I love those, um, we are definitely in the realm of some magic, perhaps some curses, and definitely some, some ritualisms. Ritualisms. That's what I mean by that. Okay. This is the last fateful jump. Everyone, cross your fingies with me. I don't know why this is so fear-inducing for me. This is, this is worse than a horror game by far. Ah! Oh! Okay then. Where are we now? Oh, the rain. I love the rain. Okay. What are we doing? Interesting. Very interesting. I, I am able to move faster in our frog jumping mode, so that's a plus. But it does make me wonder all the same. Ding dong. Where we are going, precisely. Is this a, um, this, this is one of the, it look, these surroundings, they look like a, um, I, <laughs> dang it, I can't think of it. But it's, it's one of those highly... Oh, I died. It's one of those highly complicated um, mechanisms that's supposed to be adding one thing to the next. And I cannot, I cannot think properly. That's more physics that I don't like. Oh, whoever lived here, let me just say, I envy whoever lived here because they seem like a very cool, very strange person. Hoopa! If they, if they have a museum scale model solar system, applause on that. Applause for them. F, if I remember correctly. Yes. Oh, th th this portion of the game is from the intro screen. So cool. Just so cool. And away. F. H how do we use you? Oh, we don't. But we do. How? Very um, interesting, but unfortunately, none of my buttons are working. I don't think I can return back up. So let's see what we can do over here then. Oh, monster of death. Okay then. Continuing forward. Onward. Ooh. Ah, this is why we could not. Q. That is this, this right here is why. A Q. Okay, so this, this, oh. Again with the physics, and I love physics in a game. It, it, it is truly wonderful to see and just just love in a game is the physics and if they get the physics right it, and it's such a tedious little thing in a game is the physics it's it's certainly hard to play when the physics aren't right but I I, I applaud whoever made this because this is truly a wonderful awesome little experience and I know I'm not saying much for commentary wise commentary wise but I I really do enjoy this I I'm really just 
I don't know how to describe it. I'm I'm just wrapped up into it. It's it's so good. It really is. Can I dunk you? <laughs> so there was an Easter egg. Okay. Fantastic. Fantastic. But we have an adventure to be on and go on and carry onward and forward with fourth. And here we go. Nope. Wrong button. Perhaps over here. What do we have? What do we have hidden in this hole in the wall? Space. That, that, that is certainly cool. Now, I know that's just to get us from, uh, that's just to get us from one place to the other without having to do all of that again. But it, it is a nice feature when a developer spends that amount of time because that certainly took a lot of the a lot of time just to program that little animation but it's certainly wonderful that they take the time to include that in a game and hello dystopia you know how much i love dystopia or at least new york uh, or somewhere london um, cairo some somewhere big and just full of life that's exactly where we must be it would seem at least the very least. Oh, wow. Developer, this, 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 um, this amount of detail, the scope. This, this, this is the game, this is the kind of game that reminds me of so much, so many major titles. At, at a level of programming, just alone. Because this, this kind of game, it's, it, I really hope that either a full version will be out, or this, this is a full version, and I'm just, and I, I'll have to pick it up more later because I, I really want to take my time with this and spend the respectful amount to explore. Oh, hello, hello, what do I do? 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 Did I die? I did indeed. Okay then. Rolling forward, so I discovered a sewer right along here. And I do believe that these mushrooms, yes, the, the mushrooms are in fact a guide. So that's, that is a cool feature that, again, the developer has included. It's just so cool, so much, so much effort has gone into this. And I, I just, <laughs> wow. Okay, so I'm just noticing now, this is either a battery or a, an energy drink, which either way is so cool. It's, it, it's, it's just another little feature that they include in the game, spend time and effort into thinking up of for us to experience and it just adds more and more and more to the game itself. Ah, here's our bird from earlier that we were unable to get. Um, E? What are you? How about now? Ah, so, so it did not appear, it does not appear as though th that isn't, that is a form but more of a uh, Easter egg, which is equally as cool, equally as cool. Oh, hello, mister. Hello, spider friend. Um, nope. How about no? How about a whole lot of no? <laughs> uh, I remember seeing this in the, uh, in the pictures, but I didn't think I'd actually run into it. This is, this is such a cool, this is a cool little chase sequence. This is awesome. So cool. And I know I'm missing another bird in the background, but I'm just more focused on getting away. And changing forms is not the best of inquiries and ideas at this point. Um, how about no? How about no? It's, it's so hard to just traverse while this while this chasing is occurring. Oh, of course, include a bass drum. Okay, then. Oh, I'm dead. No, I'm not. Okay, surprise, surprise. This game is full of surprises. Ha, 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 ha. No. How about not? How about a whole lot of no? I don't even know if you can hear me over this loud music. It is quite loud. There we go. Now we're cooking with fire. Give me flame, give me fire. Give me that which I do desire, indeed. How long does this go on for? Because it is, it is... It is awesomely cool. Oh. Oh, and just the time spent on the, the, the tunnel. The spider's layer tunnel. This, this, oh. It's just, again, with so much detail added and put into this. And this game was free for crying out loud. How much can you want when something like this is totally free? This is actually one reason why I do not invest 
60, hundreds of dollars into those major FPS games is because you have things, games like this, that are just totally and completely free, and I don't know how I managed that jump. And I don't, I don't know how long this is, I really don't. Is that the light at the end of the tunnel? <laughs> it would appear to be so. Oh, how wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen, I am afraid that we have come to the end of our time with A Tale of Paper. Now, don't be worried. This one I will make a part two and a conclusion video of because this game has so much to offer. It has so much wonderful indie aspects that I look for in games so much and so often. I don't know how close I am to the end, and it had chapters, but I will continue this. I will end it unless somehow I miss the ending, and if that's the case, I will include it along with the rest of this video. But for now, I must bid you a good evening and a good night, for we have come to the end of our time. My thoughts on this video, on this game, I'm sorry. My thoughts on this game are just pure, wonderful joy. It just brings back so many positive emotions from that age of innocence, that age of being, that age of just wonder at the world. And that's what this is. It reminds me a lot of when you've got that childish new thought, a new, new state of being, new theory of how you think and how you rationalize things. This is like being a small ant in a really, really big world, and I think that's what the developer is trying to get across to us. I can't gush any more about this game because the positive emotions that it brings out in me are not coming out right. They're not verbalizing properly. So on that note, I'll end this here, and I will pick it back up with a conclusion, whether it's 5 minutes or 10 or 15. So. Ladies and gentlemen, once more, we have come to the end of our time. Join me next time, and perhaps we'll find the end of our little friend's adventure. Ladies and gentlemen, I must bid you a good evening and a good night. I'll see you.